Hey guys, Mike here. In this video, I'm going to explain how I got, a, I guess, a top 20 Paladin in the world uh, for Final Fantasy XIV Online, MMORPG by Square Enix. Um, yeah, so I, I guess I'm now I'm like top 20 Paladin or, you know, that's in the world. That's like Japan, North America, and Europe all combined. And I think for North America, I think I'm in top five Paladin. Uh, I'm not sure if, if not top five, at least top 10. Uh, we can double check later. But anyways, so like here's my character right here. Um, Eyes Wallenstein on um, Sargatanas. Um, and mine says the apostrophe because the ones without the apostrophe were taken. So yeah, this is my character. Uh, and all I do is play Paladin. Uh, I am familiar with the other classes like or the other tanks like Gunbreaker, Dark Knight, and Warrior. Like I know how to do their rotations, but honestly, I just like Paladin the best, so that's why I've been maining Paladin. Um, maybe I'll go over to the other one, other tanks later, but uh, uh, I, I just really like Paladin for some reason. So uh, here's my records, um, and the first thing. Okay, so currently uh, it says officially I'm ranked 33 in the world, um, but uh, I just got a 99 on Hephaestos 2 and you can see it says not locked in and my highest rate DPS for that at current or that that most recent fight was 7300 right here and uh, I checked the you know the, the scoreboards manually and this DPS uh, 7300 I believe puts me at rank 16 for this fight so current so my previous rank is 436 so now my rank is 16 for hit by 2 which is the final battle in the raid here and you can see that's similar to my uh proto carbuncle which is my p5 which is um, rank 14. i do have a 99 for p7 which is 61. So that's pretty nice uh so this 436 is actually going to turn into a 16 on um you know when this locks in and when the uh, all-star rank points are updated which is should be tomorrow at midnight and yeah, so, and then I did the calculation. So my all-star points right here is 114 for uh, Hephaestus 2. And uh, you know, when, once this jumps up to rank 16, this will put me at a plus 4.5 all-star points. So that's, um, you know, 19. So you can just, you can just add 4.5 to this. That puts me at like 590 all-star points here. And if you can check the, the rankings for Paladin here in the world, uh, you know, 590 points is right here. So like about rank 16 or rank 17. So I'll be right here, you know, uh, by tomorrow. And hopefully I'm like within the top 20 Paladins in the whole world, which is pretty pog. And yeah, so I don't know, I'm feeling pretty good right now. And you know, there's still room for improvement. Like uh, my Hegemony, my P6, I, I can get this up to 99. I, I'm pretty confident I can get this to 99. It's just, it's just, you know, you just gotta grind it out. You just gotta get the roll to and get a lot of crits and direct hits um, and my rotation for p6 is pretty good like um, but I, you know the reason i'm really excited is because the final battle hit places two is like it's so hard to get a good parse for it because you have to do no matter what you have to do hit places one first it's the, because hit places one is the door boss and you have to clear this first and then you get a chance at hit places two right so you, you better be sure your your party is pretty damn good so okay so in this video i'm going to explain my journey and how i did this so last year uh 2022 i think i said this in a previous video uh i finished the you know i started uh, final fantasy 14 probably july did the msq finished the msq october of last year then um i did um th this is my first raid tier the um abyssos raid tier which is the second raid tier in endwalker which is the current expansion and you know i cleared that after going through a few statics for uh, yeah, I cleared it in December of last year and I took a break, played Fire Emblem, and then, uh, you know, came back in like around March, I would say. In March, I was like, okay, you know, uh, I'll try to get into parsing, see if I can get into leaderboards and get into high scores and stuff. And so, yeah, I've been, I've been parsing and just doing the, all these raid fights for about, what's today? It's going on May, so maybe about two months already. And yeah, I was able to like get, you know, go from like greens and blues. Uh, up to pinks now. I'm at pinks now. I'm pretty. I'm pretty happy to be honest. Uh, so, yeah. So that experience is like okay. So I was just doing it in PF, right? The thing about Paladin is Paladin is uh, 
I'm not too sure about other classes. All I know about Paladin, but I, th I believe Paladin is like one of the very few classes that that's on a one minute rotation. And it's a tank, which is really nice because, uh, you know, if you're on a one minute rotation, then that means you're less susceptible to kill times and RNG. Now, obviously you still want to get a good kill time. Like you want to kill the boss right after you complete your burst, which happens every one minute, um, because then your average DPS or your RDPS will be at its highest point, right? But the thing is, I did it in PF. Like, I did everything in PF. Now, granted, I joined some parse parties just to practice, but all of my high scores and my best percentages and my 99s and all these high scores right here, I, I actually didn't get it in parse parties. It was actually just, um, you know, practicing with parse parties to play with better players. And then, but like, just going in PF with random people um, and trying to, you know, just, just playing good. So, and then I was able to get these 99s. I'm pretty happy about so yeah so I was able to get orange for like these first ones and uh for a p7 uh it's a really long fight so this one I was actually able to get a 99 because the party wasn't able to kill the boss fast enough so I was actually able to get a third pot in at the 10 minute mark and then I was able to do one final confetti or combo which is my highest damage combo right and that was able to boost my RD DPS really high so I, I actually snagged a 99 just because my party couldn't kill the boss fast enough so that was pretty nice. And then these ones, uh, you know, just, just playing well. Hegemony, Hephaestos. Uh, uh, Hephaestos is a little uh, annoying because uh, there's actually two versions of the fight you can get. You can get it with Dog first or Snake first. And for parsing, you want to get Snake first. And the nice thing about parse parties is they'll actually wipe if Dog is first. So, you know, uh, you don't have to waste your time doing Dog first. Uh, so that's a nice thing about parse parties. But yeah, um, ideally you want Snake first. Uh, and then Proto Carbuncle. Okay, this was interesting. I was, um, I think I was like rank 400 and I wanted to increase my overall rank because uh, I was like at rank 76 or something. And I was just like, you know, I, I'm at rank 400 for Proto Carbuncle. There's definitely room for improvement here and it's not that like long of a fight. Uh, so what I did for Proto Carbuncle is I actually studied the Paladin rotation intensely. Like, uh, so it turns out there's, there's some awkward downtime during Double Dash and devour but you can get around it with paladin because the paladin rotation is just so flexible so how instead of doing the standard rotation for proto carbuncle uh like i got inspired by one of the higher parsers rotations and then i kind of modified it a little to just do the configure combo first like right when the battle starts you you immediately pop fight or flight to buff your damage and then you just do configure combo first uh with the going blade first actually right before the configure combo because that allow it's just the timing is perfect because once the boss starts doing double dash, you can't hit him because he's out of melee range. But by that time, the confederate combo comes back up, so you can just keep going with your rotation without being interrupted. So when he's just double dashing and normally you can't hit him, you can just do the confederate combo, which is a ranged combo and you can hit him. So that 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 keeps like 100% uptime for double dash. And a lot of people, a lot of paladins don't know this. They just stick with standard rotation for proto card monkle. But if you do this modified rotation for proto card monkle, you can easily get a 95 percent for proto carbon and then after that point it's just rng and getting crits and you'll get that 99 so i was actually able in the same day i was actually once i figured out the rotation for proto carbon i was able to get a 99. one more thing about the proto carbon rotation is that uh with this rotation by starting with confederate combo first you're actually able to land confederate combo right before devour goes off so you can get a goring blade and a four hit confederate combo in right before Devour, and by the time Devour comes back off, like your fight, your fight or flight is popped during that configure combo so that um, your cooldown and the, for fight or flight isn't delayed. So you're able to, you're essentially getting a perfect fight or flight uptime for this whole Proto Carbuncle fight, which is really nice for Paladin, and only Paladin can do that, I, I believe. So that was pretty pog. I, I don't think we get 99. And then Vysos 2. Okay, Vysos 2 was, uh, so I was very adamant. And I wanted to get my, I, I wasn't trying to get a 99. I just wanted to get an orange or a 95 for Hephaestus 2. And the way I did, and I wanted to do it in PF. Like I didn't want to do the bar, the, the par strategies. Par strategies is one tile um, for natural alignment. And the reason, I'm not saying natural alignment is bad. Uh, I actually think it's good. One tile natural alignment is actually a good strategy because it, it helps your healers, right? Your healers don't have to move that much. The thing is like I, natural alignment has like four different combinations. And I didn't want to learn a whole another strategy just for those four combinations. So I have to learn like eight different permutations of natural alignment. And 
because of, you know, just muscle memory and not wanting to have to remember all that stuff. I was like, I was very adamant that I wanted to get my high parse rank for high flight was two with PF strategies, which is strategies that everybody knows, right? So I was able to do that. And, you know, I just had a really good party and you kind of have to, you kind of have to be toxic. Like you have to kind of have to vet your party. Like if, if you know the player is not that good, you kind of have to kick them, especially if you're party lead. And honestly, your party members are actually going to like it because you're not wasting everyone's time, right? You're, you're making sure all your party members are getting, you know, are playing with good people or at least people on the same level as you. So like when you be, when you be in, when you're in PF, as long as I have been, then you just kind of know, like you recognize certain players that are really good, right? And you're like, yeah, I'm glad to have this player in. And you start that, and you actually start to make friends that way because you're like, oh yeah, hey, uh, what's his name is on. And, uh, he, he's, he's always really good on, um, Reaper or Samurai or something. And, uh, you just let, you just make sure you keep them in the party or you message them or something. And that's how you, you keep high quality. You want to play with better players, right? And, um, because better players are more consistent at mechanics. And, you know, if, if you have just like one weak person that's kind of slowing the whole party down, it's like you're wasting hours. Just trying to get, you're just trying to clear the fight and get a good parse number. And, you know, a lot of that is RNG with criticals, right? So you can't be wasting your time just wiping all the time. You want to play with better players. And, you know, PF, when you start to recognize the good players in PF, yeah, you, you let them into your party. But also too, another way to do that is just join like a Discord where the high, quality players play, like the best players play. And I'm actually in a Discord right now with um, just some of the rank one players in the world. And they're, I, I don't really have permission to share what that Discord is, I believe. So, but I'm sure you can find it if, if you um, if you look hard enough. And, you know, you can just like, a lot of these players are really nice and they'll, they'll give you tips if you ask for it, if you're very modest and stuff like that. So, like uh, for Hephaestos 2, like I got tips on my Hephaestos 2 um, fight because one of the highest level Paladin players was uh, saying, well, you, you know, you could actually fit in a two extra intervention um, OGCDs before uh, each high concept. And I was like, I would have never figured that out. And that would have boosted my RGPS, uh, you know, by a bit or just give me that advantage. And then one thing I'm pretty happy with my Hephaestos too, is like one thing I noticed, uh, well, I was missing a Goring Blade uh, during that really small frame right after or right before Eco Death. And that, you know, that's like another, like 600 potency I was able to gain, which was pretty nice. So just the combination of the help from the other players, like pointing out where I should do interventions. So I was able to recover like three interventions and add in another core to the rotation. And that's, um, yeah. And then once, once I immediately, once I cleared that fight, I was like, this is, this is definitely at least an orange. And I was surprised to see it, it came out to a 99, which I was really happy about. So yeah, um, just just play with better players is, good, is, is what I'm trying to say. Like if you're in PF, like like me, I like I, I like playing in PF. I like playing with random players. But like if you're trying to get like high parses, you want to try play with better players as much as possible because you're just wasting less time. You could probably do it in less time than I did. Like I spent like two months trying to get these uh, like top parses, and yeah, you, you you'll get it a lot faster if you play with better players because you're not wasting wiping all the time anyways yeah that's pretty much it for this video like um you know i'll probably hegemony getting that to 99 i'm not too concerned that's pretty good. if i source one that's you know it's a door boss um that, that's that's much easier i believe than doing hit by source two which is like because like i said earlier to get to fight two you have to fight plus fight source one first which is such a slog all the time especially if your party is wiping in fight source one all the time it's like okay just to get a chance at fight source two so anyways yeah that, that's sort of my short TLDR of my adventure slash journey in becoming one of the best Paladin players in the world, I, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how people rank this sort of stuff. I mean, you know, the, the, the funny thing is, like, I never even cleared Ultimate yet. Um, like, for Ultimate, I, I don't really want to do an Ultimate fight unless, like, I enjoy playing with the other players because, like, Ultimate fights are, like, such a slog and, um, you know, the, the mechanics and the fight is so long and it's like, once you wipe, it's like, that's start getting at least with savage fights like the savage current savage tiers it's like you know it's just like a seven minute fight you do your best um, if you're in pf you know if everybody if someone leaves it's no big deal you just find another party but like ultimate fights you have to really invest in the team and the people that you're playing with uh, so maybe one day i'll do an ultimate fight uh i don't know we'll see but i don't know i'm just really stoked right now that i was able to get uh you know top top paladin rank uh, in the world and I uh, just wanted to share that with you guys, and that's pretty much what I've been up to. 
Um, that's the only game I've been playing right now, Final Fantasy XIV. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.